I am going to show you how to add or uh, get um, subtitles for a movie. Say, for example, sometimes I get a uh, a file, movie file, and it 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 either comes with subtitles, which is looks like this. Uh, uh, a dot srt file is your subtitle file and uh, it's kinda interesting if you drag that into a text editor uh, like text edit you can actually see what's going on here at different time times it uh, triggers uh, basically audio that is just laid over the top of your movie so uh, one thing is oh there's a bad word one thing is uh, you could have some fun by rewriting these uh, and then as a prank to your friends so you can just basically type in anything you know, so um, I've never done that, but uh, I think I might in the future. <laughs> anyway, if you have these two, it's easy enough to watch, um, but I'm also going to show you how to burn them in. Say, for example, you have a, a, a video player like a VLC, which is a free uh, application you can download online to watch videos. It's very much like QuickTime, um, but you would just open your movie like this, open, and then there's actually already a... Just go ahead and pause that. There's actually already a subtitle uh, drop down here. You just click on your subtitle, and it'll lay that in there. And if it's not the right, if it's not the right subtitle, it's, it's still going to lay in the the text over the top. Now the the thing is though, a lot of times you might be trying to watch um, your video on another device that doesn't allow you to open up this. Um, so that's when you have to kind of burn in your subtitles. Um, and I like to burn them in anyway, just so I have one file. Uh, so, for example, on the PlayStation 4, uh, you can't you can't import these. You have to burn them in. So then, what you do is you go to the internet, and if you're not familiar with this application, it's called Handbrake.com. You download Handbrake.com. It's a video converter. I've used it for a long time. It's uh, basically Handbrake.com actually .fr. So you just download that, um, and you're going to then get an application that has a really cool icon down here pineapple and like drink thing and you're gonna open that up um, and close this and you're going to select your source and you're gonna add your subtitle but one thing that's not uncommon I'm gonna back up here for a second is what happens if you have a movie that is in Chinese or it's in French and you don't have the subtitle uh, SRT file. Well, there's lots of free places you can get those online. You can just uh, type in or Google uh, free or subtitle movie subtitles, and you're going to get a lot of options. Now, um, it's a little scary to download and use stuff that you're not familiar with, but I've used movies uh, subtitle.org um, often, and I've never had any problems with it. So you just go here, search for the movie you want, the language. And you download it, and what you should end up with getting is a, a, a .srt file. So let's say you have your movie, and you have the correct .srt file, and you can open this up again in a text edit file um, right here. It also opens in other things like something called Sublime Text, but uh, um, and then you can look at things to change it again if you want. So, uh, but here here's how we uh, burn things in. Now I have Handbrake um, uh, downloaded, and so I'm going to open source, navigate to my movie, and open this. Okay, So you can pick if, whether you want it to be an MP4 or M, M, MKV. Um, I'm just going to leave it uh, MP4 for now, or it's going to convert it. But And now you have options here. Video, picture, audio. You can change some of these settings. If you want to know about, more about this, you can go to handbrake.com. But subtitles is the one we're interested in. So this is a little weird, though, because there is no track, which is normal because it doesn't have a track on it. But I thought if I clicked on here, that would you know, you know, be the way to go, but that's not the way to go. You go into tracks right here, and you don't, I don't know what, what all tracks means, but you actually go to add external SRT. So I'm gonna click on this, I'm gonna navigate to my SRT file, and I'm gonna open. And now you have a couple of options, and, and basically, um, sometimes in the SRT file it would be forced in only and then it will only put in those subtitles but I always just do burned in and, and if you hover over these you'll get uh, information on what they are so make selected 